The Office of Naval Research, ONR, is developing an advanced weather model that will extend accurate weather prediction from 7 days out to 30 days. And that's good news for a Navy that depends on accurate weather prediction for global operations. If you can understand your environment better than your adversary, that buys you a warfighting advantage. We try to be as far ahead of uh, bad weather, especially, as we possibly can. Accurate weather forecasting is a big job for the Navy. We're usually attached to a big deck with a team of about eight strong, and we forecast the weather with the help of assistance forecasters taking hourly weather observations. We receive both raw data, the observations that people are taking, whether ashore or out on the ships, satellite information as well, real-time sensing of the weather, and then we combine that along with uh, numerical model guidance that's uh, produced to try and uh, develop a good forecast for all the Department of Defense assets that we're supporting. Computer weather models are valuable tools, whether for generating the nightly news forecast or redirecting the fleet at sea. It takes a lot of work in order to improve these models. Getting the, mo the data into the prediction systems is also an element of science and research. Today, underwater autonomous sea gliders monitor change in the ocean. Ten years ago, weather prediction was only accurate out to four days, maybe five. But now if you watch the evening weather, you'll see that they're talking about a full week, seven days. ONR's advanced weather model could make a big difference to a commander preparing for battle, evacuating an area in the path of a hurricane, or saving lives at sea. Another place I've seen tremendous improvement in, in the last few decades is our ability to forecast hurricanes. And this is in large part because the Office of Naval Research has been a tremendous supporter of hurricane and typhoon, or basically hurricanes in the Western Pacific. This new model actually allows you to say the hurricane's moving in, it's mixing up the water, it's changing the temperature of the water, and how warm that water is at the surface affects how strong the hurricane is. ONR partners include NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration for Weather Prediction. NOAA ends up forecasting the weather for the United States and the region, but the Navy does it for the rest of the world. In order to further refine global climate computer models, ONR-supported researchers are gathering data in the Indian Ocean with Project Dynamo. This effort is assisting long-range weather forecasts and seasonal outlooks. The research and understanding of hurricanes coupled with better computers and coupled with better sensors has really led us to groundbreaking ways to demonstrate the risk and show the risk to the fleet commanders. Along with changing weather patterns, there are big changes being observed in Arctic ice. At the National Naval Ice Center, the Navy partners with NOAA and the U.S. Coast Guard to monitor global sea ice conditions on a 24-7 basis. The systems up in the Arctic are very unpredictable. We are talking about perhaps the most status sparse region in the planet when it comes to weather. There is no explicit prediction of Arctic flow right now. The National Ice Center observes the conditions and they really identify where the ice edge is. We believe that the need for uh, more understanding of the changing conditions will be a requirement in the future. Weather models are really key in terms of uh, forecasting sea ice. In fact, sea ice modeling improvements and process studies being funded by the Office of uh, Naval Research. Changes in the Arctic may eventually lead to advanced ship designs for the Navy. As the Arctic opens up, as the ice-free summer extends, as you get a reduction in multi-year ice, which is much thicker and, and much, a much larger hazard for navigation, there will be naval missions in the Arctic. What should capabilities be for, let's say, ships that are beginning, just starting to be on the drawing board, that will be in service or potentially in service in our Navy you know, through the middle or even the latter part of the 21st century. We also are working on global coupled modeling where we have an ocean model, a wave model, and an atmospheric model, and a land and an ice surface models that can start extending skill out past that sort of seven to 10 day limit of predictability. No matter what weather the future brings, ONR's advanced weather model will be an invaluable tool for weather prediction. It's that human element, it's the people, it's the sailors, it's the civilians, it's the researchers that are going to keep this Navy uh, the greatest the world has seen.